Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, I got a channel update for all of you, uh, just to bring you up to date on everything I'm doing, where I am in the course of everything that I'm doing. Um, in case there's things you want to go back and look at, check out, um, catch yourself up with, yada, yada, yada. Uh, before I get into that, though, I want to remind everybody, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Uh, give me a like below. Leave a comment after the video is over. In fact, I will specifically be asking for comments on something later in the video. So, that, there's that. So let's start with baseball. Um, baseball related right now, I am doing the Chicago White Sox 2020 season, which bears no resemblance to what real baseball is going to be. I was hoping that it would, but I had started the season way before baseball even decided if they were, if they were gonna come back, how they were gonna come back, when they were gonna come back. So. Um, right now I am doing a 148 game season. I have played 102 of those, so we have 46 games left. And currently, the White Sox are 55 and 48, and in third place in the Central Division. <laughs> are you crying? No. Are you crying? Are you crying? There's no crying. There's no crying in baseball behind uh, Minnesota and uh, Cleveland, and we are 11 games behind the division-leading Minnesota Twins. Um, not quite as good as I was hoping for, but, I mean, they have a winning record, which the White Sox in real life have not had in years. So that is, they are doing at least that, and I would have hoped at least that they would do that, and they are. So we'll see if they can make a comeback and try to uh, claw their way into the wild card. I'm not sure exactly how many games out of a wild card we are. I have a feeling we're, we're close. We're probably closer in the wild card, I would say almost definitely, than we are to the division. So there is that. I've got some stats for you on the team. Um, Mendick is hitting 341 in 126 at bats for us. Moncada is hitting 324 with 26 home runs, which leads the team in 404 at bats. And um, Encanarcion also has 26 home runs. They're both tied for the team lead in home runs. On the pitching side, we've got Aaron Bummer with a 137 earned run average in 39 and a third innings pitched. Uh, and Giolito and Keuchel both have nine wins. Giolito is nine and eight with a 390 earned run average, and Keuchel is nine and four with a 424 earned run average, and he just got his butt handed to him in the last outing that he had. So we're hoping that he pitches better the next time he comes around. As far as that season goes, most games are available. Every once in a while, I do skip games to get ahead in the schedule and try to catch up to the uh, real life date that we're in um, so you know the real life calendar date so uh, not every single game that the team has played would be available to you or every single series but a lot of them are very many of them are I would say a very high percentage are so if there are any you want to go back and check out um, I recommend that it's uh, some of those are very interesting um, some things some interesting stuff happens in the last series we just played Kansas City and um, as of this date which is um, 7 17 I believe that I'm recording this um, and uh, Abreu actually in one game was five for five and in another game I think he was like four for six or five for seven or something like that so, um, you know, every once in a while something very interesting happens, so I suggest you go back take a look at some of those if you want to catch yourself up on that. Um, also baseball related, I will every once in a while play a random game on the using the computer, the Stratomatic Computer Baseball. Currently I'm doing a uh, three-game series between the 
1909 Chicago White Sox and the 1982 Seattle Mariners. Two of those games have already been played. We still have to do the third one, which I expect to get up this weekend at some point. Uh, those seem to be, there seems to be a high uh, level of interest in those. So I will continue to take two random teams from my library of seasons and play them against each other. Usually, I mean, in fact, always teams from different seasons and probably from vastly different seasons like 1909 and 1982 um, and play them against each other. And I promise it won't always be, one of the teams will not always be the White Sox. So, there is that. Um, and, I, and I'll take requests for that, too. Um, at least for franchise teams. I mean, nobody really could know what, exactly what years I have on my computer. So, But if you're like a Reds fan or a, you know, whatever, a Yankees fan, probably a lot of those out there. And you want to see, you know one of your Yankees teams from the past play whatever, then let me know. Give me a shout out on that. Uh, football related, we have the Arizona Wranglers going through a season where I have mixed in USFL teams with 2018 NFL teams with 1995 NFL teams. And currently the Wranglers are five and three they're tied at the top of their division, five and three, with two other teams. Um, and they just beat the Chicago Blitz by the score of 31-14. That was a very good game. I suggest you go back and check that out. But anyway, that's where we are. We play a game every Sunday. I try to get um, uh, the, the uh, Wranglers uh, weekly game up every Sunday. So be on the look for those on, you know, by probably at worst by 7 o'clock on Sunday evening. Usually I try to get it in the afternoon, but the last one I did, I don't think went up until like 5 o'clock. Um, some stats from that. Um, uh, Greg Landry is the quarterback for the team. He's 192 of 323 for 2,004 yards, 12 touchdowns and 10 interceptions, and uh, a 77 quarterback rating. So he's not doing really great but we do have a very good defense, which is helping out. The leading rusher is Tim Spencer. He has 127 rushes for 552 yards and five touchdowns, which is a 4.3 rushing average. And with the Wrangler season, every game is available. So you can go back and watch any game of the Wrangler season that you desire to watch. And then that brings us to hockey. Hockey related, I am currently taking the Minnesota North Stars through a season and we are in the second round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. We had played a complete season. We finished third in our division, I believe, and qualified for the playoffs. We knocked off the Chicago Blackhawks in the first round of the playoffs in, I want to say it was five games. Might have been five games, may have been six. But I know it didn't go the full seven. So we knocked off Chicago in the first round, and currently we're playing the St. Louis Blues, but we are losing that series three games to two. So if St. Louis wins the next game, they will advance to the next round, and we will be eliminated. Um, so we'll have to see if we can pull out a win, tie the series up, and uh, force an exciting game seven. I expect again with the Minnesota um, playoff series to get game six up uh, this weekend. So if you're a hockey fan and you're a fan of that particular season, be on the lookout for it. I did play a lot of games of that season, but I didn't play every game. I, and I couldn't even tell you, I, maybe I played a third of the game. Actually, um, I actually um, televised a third of the games, but like two thirds of them were quick played um, so that I could move along in the season at a decent clip. So you can go back, look at any games of the season or any of the playoff games. Some of those were very exciting. 
a lot of the games against Chicago were one goal games and Chicago mainly lost that series because they were in the penalty box a little too much which the 90 and by the way this is the 1990-91 season so yeah the Chicago Blackhawks in real life that year spent a lot of time in the uh, penalty box so that's where we are we're down five games to or four or three games to two so we got to win the next one to tie it up and now for the other thing that I'm doing that I am asking for requests for um, and that is my favorite all-time blank baseball team you put in the franchise um, so far I've done I think I've done ten of them I've done the White Sox. I did the White Sox way back, like months and months ago. My all-time favorite White Sox. I've also done the Orioles, the Phillies, the Red Sox, the Card, the Cardinals, the Padres, the Pirates, the Dodgers, the Rangers, and the Braves. Um, I may have left a team out in there somewhere. Um, I'm not sure. Um, but anyway. Um, I want to let everybody know that as far as that goes, I do not intend to do all 31 teams. I will be taking requests from people if you are a, like for instance, Yankees fan, which I'm sure I'm going to get somebody that's going to say, hey, I want to see the Yankees. In fact, now that I think about it, it's probably a good idea to do the Yankees because there's a so if you are, you know, whatever, uh, Yankees, Mets, uh, Tampa Bay Rays fan, I don't, you know, doesn't matter to me, but um, if you want to see my all-time favorite players from that franchise, then leave a comment below, let me know the team, even if you just type in the city or the, the nickname, that's fine. And then I will work on those. But unless I see, uh, you know, my um, uh, my fan base come out and say, I'd like to see you do blank, I probably will not. So I do not have the intention of doing all 31. Because they generally do not garner a lot of, uh, a lot of views. So... I will only do them by request. And that is the update that I have for you. Um, and I guess for right now, that's all I got to tell you about the update on the channel. That's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.